Hey everybody, Chiron here, and welcome back to another episode of Vanished. Got a couple of new buildings. A couple that are still going, but uh, we're really waiting for lumber, and it looks like we need a building supply. So the next time we get one of those at the trading post, we're going to have to hit that up. A couple of maintenance things I want to do. We finally got these cleared out and these all activated. So we can get rid of those guys. We do have our leather slowly coming in. And we have the all important eggs. And we have an absolute absurd amount of food. <laughs> so 64,000 rice, 23,000 blackberries, 18,000 parsnips. So we definitely have food on point right now. All right, not really interested in those. If, honestly, for four, it's pretty much a, a no-brainer here. Um, Two fifty. Uh, yeah, so one hundred twenty-five lumber. That was a uh, that was a pretty good deal, honestly. Hmm. Do I even want to go glass? Um, fifteen hundred. He, um, I think I'll pass in the glass for the moment. And we have our farm supplier as well with deer. Don't need more deer. All right, couple buildings finished up. So we have our rice wine still. So we'll get some alcohol going. Make sure everybody is nice and happy. Sharpidus is uh, it's okay. Their health is phenomenal. So they are super healthy. We do have the herb mender and then the uh, herb grower. Yeah, the herb grower. Only got five citizens, which uh, we could use a couple more. So we're gonna have to put in some more housing. Um, I think I want to leave a little bit of a channel here so that we can get our uh, what is it? Our traders through, and then I'm just gonna kind of go here. And start building out a dock area. I get one piece in there. There we go. And we'll continue on our way. You don't have to leave kind of a channel for your traders, but for uh, realism, I want to. All right, we need a couple more small schoolhouses, so let's get those guys in as well. Oh yeah, we gotta gotta put these in a place where we don't have any uh, any planks. Hmm, where do I want to put this? I guess I could probably just destroy these. There we go. Yeah, we'll just put a couple schoolhouses in. Put three of them in. We'll do like a uh, elementary school, middle school, high school <laughs> kind of deal. And then that, uh, that should work out okay. Perfect. All right, now let's get a little bit more housing in here. We're gonna do some dock homes. Let's uh, get these guys situated like so. I yeah, can't fit another one in there, so we'll move on to the other side. All right. And like I said, I was going to do last episode, I did get these extended out pretty far so that we can kind of start building in some other structures as necessary. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, we are out of folk again. Hmm. Why is everybody dying? Starvation. Like, really? We have 111,000 food. Oh. Ay ay ay, these people. They just do not want to live. 
think they're just like actively like, nah, you know what? I don't like the water. I am going to go. <laughs> ah, bunch of jerks. Yeah, so the, luckily these just require logs, so they go in real quick. All right. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of people that we can kind of play around with here. Um, so we need furniture, and what do we want to do? Uh, lamp oil's probably going to be our cheapest one. We could make rugs. Um, we do have the ability to make rugs. So I think we'll do that. Uh, rugs. And we need to wait for a couple more laborers here. So, should be good. What are we doing over here? Uh, increase our builders a little bit. Get them all going. What is this? Building supplier. Building supplier we won't be able to do yet. We don't have any of the advanced materials like glass or bricks or anything like that. So we're... Uh, Kinda, kinda waiting on those guys a little bit, but uh, everything else we should be able to make with the materials that we have at our disposal. Why are you starving? Like seriously, <laughs> there's no reason you should be starving. None at all. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Hmm. Did I make it to land? You should be able to make it to land. And even if you can't, you can get food right on the dock. Whatever. Whatever. What do we got here? Hardwood, candles, bronzes. Oh yeah, our candlery did finish. So we probably should have one person working there. Oh man, I just keep losing people. Hmm. I'll cut down our farmers a little bit here. Let's uh, stop work on these so that they can finish harvesting all of those. Uh, we still have our herdsmen, which is great. We could probably cut one of those down for now because we do have an abundance of tools. We do have iron building, stone building, logs are almost capped. They've been capped for quite a while, so. Um, but uh, we use quite a few logs on homes and these guys are actually doing pretty good like they 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 keep up pretty well with our demand of logs so oh boy we, looks like we just had a big uh, big group graduate here I believe Let's see trading post Frisian cows hey, hey, hey Frisian cows that is what I was waiting for let's uh get rid of all of our deer. We don't need our deer anymore now that we have Frisian cows coming in. Let's uh, make another pasture. Um, the problem with this area right here is it's, it is really flat area, but there's not a whole lot you can do with it. Uh, so if we do like a barn bank, like all of this is considered mountain territory even though it's super, super flat. So it's kind of a wasted area. I don't necessarily know what I want to do with it. Um, I could potentially carve it out using the uh, pasture and just kind of make a pasture in there, kind of like it did here. But I don't know if I want to do that. It seems a little bit cheaty, but at the same time, it is a flat area. I mean, it, it, it should be usable. Um, let's, uh, let's actually put a crop field here. I'm gonna put up a crop field here, see how much of this is actually usable farmland. I think that's what it'll do. And if it's all usable farmland, uh, this little part right here might not be plantable. But if it is usable farmland, I'll just use it for that. If it's not usable, I think I am gonna clear it out a little bit. We're limited on space as it is, and I don't really agree with the fact that that's not usable, so. We'll, uh, we'll do it like that. So Frisian cows, uh, we'll get uh, two of those guys. We need to increase this up a little bit. Uh, 1,000 rice and 1,000 reeds. And we're actually going to max out leather here. Uh, leather. There we go. 
right, so do we have any other guys here? Uh, yeah, lumber again. Why not? Let's uh, let's grab some ye olde lumber. And then we'll use rice because we have a lot of rice, and reeds are actually a more valuable resource for us. So trade, go away. And do we have farm supplier? We do not. All right, now we got ten folk. So let's get these going. So yeah, we're gonna need uh, probably bricks. Uh, we'll do bricks, logs, and glass, I think. Logs are easily renewable. Brick and glass are both easily renewable. Brick and lumber. Lumber is not, because lumber you have to kind of go through a couple of different phases, and we're going to be using a lot of lumber to build with. So I think we are going to do that. Yeah. And then here we can put somebody there because we have furniture coming in and rugs. So we can start getting homewares. Uh, we do need to get working on our shore houses though because those are going to be important for us. And we do need this guy up and running because we are running out of tools now. Um, fire bundles. We're out of reeds, so let's uh, let's tear reeds away from these guys. Actually, oh yeah, we have six thousand reeds here. Holy crap! <laughs> Definitely do not need six thousand reeds for trading material. Let's see, reed zero, good. So then uh, those guys should be able to keep up and keep our fuel refinery fed but we do have an abundance of iron, so should not be too incredibly painful. All right, looking good, looking good. Do need a building supply yet? We do need one of those. We're doing over here. We have nine left. Um, I can't remember if I, if I do remove structure, I think the deer stay there, if I remember correctly. So we won't we won't be doing that. Oh man, all of our storage is full. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how much storage we need. Alright. So let's, uh, let's actually continue on with our housing. We'll get uh, these guys up and running. Let's see right there. Get a couple of these guys in here. And then let's uh, kind of intersect it here. Get our dock pieces in place. Run it aground. And actually, I think we need to go this way as well. Yep. Check on our deer population. We have three left. They're almost taken care of. Uh, let's start working on a couple shore houses too. I think they are here. And how many of these can we put in? Of course, we can't put in any because the stupid landscape is not going to work with us. I don't think we can put one in sideways here. go and that should do for now that'll give us enough sand and clay to be able to get those taken care of still good on resources here we definitely need to work on clothing though um, 
Actually, how's our rope doing? Rope. 172 rope. We could start upgrading these guys. Let's, uh... Let's see, we'll upgrade you, upgrade you, upgrade you, upgrade you. So we only displaced a couple of people, and it looks like they already found new homes, which is great. It's great, great, great. We'll upgrade you. If we can. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't listen. Alright, five laborers. We'll uh, increase our builders. You, why not? Man, we need a lot of fire bundles. That is for sure. All right, let's uh, let's get a couple more of the dock workshops in here. Just kind of line them up here. Oops, that is not what I intended to do. There we go. That should last us quite a while. Build out our dock pieces, and there we have it. Alright, now we're actually using up quite a bit of logs. So we'll uh, have to be just a little bit careful, make sure that we don't use too many. Um, I think I do want to put in a couple of... Let's see, what do we want to do? So these will do three plus, we can upgrade it to four. That's not bad. That's four, those are five. That's four, I believe. And a boat is four, country ho house is six, but it requires building supplies. Let's, uh, let's get these in place. Just get a couple homes over here and then we'll try and upgrade those right away before anybody kind of gets uh, too comfy in there. Uh, these are all going in. These are probably going to start out empty. Yeah, they're actually filling up pretty quick. Um, I've got a 12 year old living on his own and a 10 and a 19 year old. It's kind of creepy, but uh, you know, not going to judge. All right, homewares, steel tools, sand. Pass on those. This guy should be our Frisian cows, right? How are we doing over here? So we'll max this guy out again. We'll do our two Frisian cows. They're going to require 160 leather, but we don't have any leather. Why well, do we not have any leather? Where is it all going? Uh, it's probably going to one of the other trading posts. So we'll uh, take the leather away from the industry supplier. Uh, oops, clicked that by accident. And then, uh, do we have any leather here? We do. We'll uh, just take a little bit of leather from that one. Let's uh, let's keep some leather at both of these, just so that we can buy a couple of things. But most of our leather is going to come here. More than likely, it's going to be where we're going to buy the majority of our stuff. We get a nice variety out of here, as opposed to either two. The farming supplier probably won't really buy a whole lot of anything, except for maybe hemp and, um, you know, some of the, uh, was it flax is the one that we need, and white mulberry, you know, kind of the utility crops. Shore houses are just waiting to be built. So let's increase our builders a little bit. We do have a couple extra people here. Got some graduates that came up. Uh, let's actually max that out. We can get some of our stuff built ASAP. Alright, how are we doing here? We need a hundred and was it 150? 160. See, so does not accept rice. What a jerk. Uh, we do have someone coming up to our industry supplier. 
And what do you got? Steel tools, lumber, eh. Yeah, we'll keep buying lumber. Why not? Uh, 106, or 664 is 332. And I think that's uh, all we really need from you. You do not have anybody yet, but you should pretty soon. Alright, got these guys building. So then we can start working on our brick and glass. Alright. Dig sand. This one I'll do dig clay. Drop you down one. And we'll let those go until we get a couple more citizens here so that we can uh, have a little bit of uh, a buffer for laborers for when we get a few deaths. Alright, just kind of a waiting game while everything builds here. Clay. I think I want to do three clay and two sand. We're going to need more bricks than glass. So we'll do it like that. Sand, clay. Starvation. I, I don't understand why people are starving. <laughs> it's just their own stupidity that they can't find food. Hmm. Oh well. Lead a horse to water, but can't make him drink. Alright, there we go. So, 160. Got two Frisian cows. We'll do Frisian cows here. We got a herdsman. And there we go. So, we're going to get some... Oh, I'm actually going to tear down this. I eh, could probably keep the deer butcher for now. We do still have our uh, hunter over here. Let's see, Stat starvation, old age, woodcutter. All right, we'll uh, get a couple more labor buffers in place. Industry supplier, uh, nothing good. Ah, it's so nice. I'm so glad we got Frisian cows now. So we get uh, some, I think the Frisian cows give more leather. Because the deers were giving it really slowly. It was like 20 per season. It was uh, it was not all that incredible. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do as well is uh, where's the dairy? Uh, there's the dairy. I think I'm going to put one of these in here so that we can start making some cheese and cream and all that good stuff. That's a great idea, if I do say so myself. Alright, so how many people do we have? We only have two laborers as a buffer. Let's go ahead and get these upgraded right away. Boom. Look at these build really quickly. It only takes 20. So, they can really bust them out. And then they immediately tear down all of their hard work. Kind of kind kind of, of sad. But, what are you going to do? If they just built the right thing in the first place, <laughs> then we wouldn't be having this argument. Alright, so furnace fuel is max. Tools are looking good. We have lots of iron. We have... Uh, we're maxed on coal. Hmm... 2,000 material. We're going to have to increase our material limit so we can keep going on that kind of stuff. It's actually a uh, material limit. We really never want that to cap out. So we'll uh, we'll just leave it at all nines. That guy's got to get upgraded pretty soon, but we should have quite a few candles going into place. 38 per season. We need 80 
and we have 74 so yeah so once this guy goes out we should be able to replace it right away and look at all of these guys we don't even need them anymore <laughs> because we were able to get caught up all right so let's uh oh this is gonna be a nightmare uh we'll do stop work on these And then uh, we can start using those as we need them. Actually, we do need a couple people on uh, fire bundles. So we'll uh, start filtering a couple people into making fire bundles here. Oh, you can actually increase the number of workers too. Awesome. How high can you go? Just two. All right. Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's get another shore worker. Yeah, and this one right here, it's always this building that people are starving at. Okay, so that person was smart enough to go home and eat food. <laughs> oh, man. These derps. Huh. My farm supplier is not getting a whole lot of traffic. I hope it's not... Uh, not getting blocked or anything like that. Hmm. That would not be good. Well, we'll uh, we'll give it a little bit of time yet, and if we don't see anything by next episode, we may have to kind of redo this area just a wee bit. you got you have eh, not really anything that I'm interested in so I'm gonna send you away hmm. yeah, interesting all right so we have should have some homewares getting built so that's good we don't have another Frisian cow quite yet Get, uh, actually our dairy worker we can probably hold off on right now because we're not going to be producing all that much milk. We got 95 milk. Is another freaking person starved. I might have to destroy this building if that's really causing it because everybody that they seem to get stuck in this particular building. Don't know why. Uh, we do need more reeds though. So there's that. Nomads. We're not going to do any nomads. Children population is looking pretty good though. Uh, we do need to build some more school. Oh, we do have more schools built, so those are good to go. Hmm. Need uh, need some more kids to be born and and go through their school and and uh, <laughs> make it into the workforce. I hate to. Uh, close down this school and uh, send those 10 kids into the workforce early. I don't want to do that, but we're at it a little bit low here. Yeah, I guess, I guess we can always pull them away from like the shore houses and food production and all that stuff, so. Probably not the worst. Alright, so I'm thinking that this guy might be broken. I might have uh, might have choked off their access. Hmm, I'm not sure what I can do about that. I think I might just destroy it and move it somewhere else. So it's kind of prime real estate right there. All right. More starvation? Like seriously? <laughs> I I don't I don't get it. I don't. If anybody knows what causes that, or if, if you see anything weird about like how these buildings are set up please let me know I mean shouldn't really be anything wrong with it but what do I know I just play a game I don't explain it alright actually how are we doing over here 
This guy's still not done. I think they don't have a path to get up to those. So let's, let's do it this way. We'll go up to there. We'll do cotton. And then we'll see how much cotton they can plant on that. Um, yeah, we'll do it that way. We'll do it that way. All right. So, I think that's uh, pretty much going to call it for this episode. I think we're uh, well on our way to hopefully getting some building supplies pretty soon. Holy cow, look at that parade. <laughs> Where are you guys all going? What in the world? Oh no. Oh, those were the nomads. Okay. Oh. Scared the crap out of me. I, th I thought they were going to go off running to their deaths or something like that. But uh, the nomads just kind of chill outside of our little town hall here. And then once. Uh, once they go away where you can't select them anymore, then they just kind of run off into the distance. So that's all it was. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, guys. Sheesh. Alright. But yeah, so that's uh, going to be the episode. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I definitely will read them, try and implement them into the episode. And yeah, you know the normal spiel. Go ahead and like the video if you did want to see more of these. So yeah, good times had by all, except for the people that starved at this dock workshop. <laughs> so, all right, that'll do for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.